Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. Keep in mind this for April could be for any time in April, and not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you, okay? So let's just see what comes up. What kind of message do I have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April? What do we have for Pisces for the month of April? Ooh, Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is expecting trouble, right? On the defensive, on the lookout, needing to take ownership, protect yourself. You're feeling alone. Um, you're probably on guard, right? You're ready for the next... Um, it feels like the next hurdle. It's like what's going to be thrown at me next, right? I feel like you you feel like you're you may feel like you're under attack, but you're ready for it. You're ready for it, right? That's what it looks like to me. You may be a a force to be reckoned with, okay? Cuz this is like a fortress or somebody that is very determined and strong. This person is uh not afraid. I'm not afraid. I can handle this. You, I dare you. This is like, I dare you to come at me. So you may be feeling like that. Like, I can handle anything you throw at me. Um, ooh, now this is good. So you're going to be receiving something because this is a gift or getting something. This is receiving a gift or a payout or it doesn't have to be a payout. Let's get some more cards. But this is... I was, you know what it felt like? This was a bat. felt like this was, you know, hitting it out of home park. That's what I just saw in my head. Like, batter up. Ooh, star. Help is arriving. This is help. Help. Help is arriving. Ooh. So this is, this is about emotional fulfillment. This is a fresh start in love. This is shining very, very bright. Um... You have a renewal in love. This is a renewal in love. If you have been wishing for uh, love, here it is. I mean, this is wish and this is love. This is a flood of emotion. It could be a very emotional time for you, okay? This has something to do with love, okay? Um, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So this is healing as well. This is healing love. Okay, so there's a healing love. There's a renewal in love. This is a blessing. Okay, blessed with love. Okay, I don't know what is going on here, Pisces, but this is... The, the star card comes after the tower falls. This is a blessing. So I don't know if you've had a tower moment, which has caused you to put your guard up and caused you to feel like... Everybody is against you, you know, but I'm here to tell you that you're about to receive something that is an absolute blessing and it's going to make you very, very happy. Okay. A blessing that makes you happy and you're about to receive it. Yeah. You may have been by yourself or you may have been, uh, you know, batting things. If <laughs> you see the bat, you know, you may have been having, dealing with, uh, I don't even know what you call that, uh, Anyway, like all kinds of balls are being thrown at you and you're hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. And this is like your home run. I'm not kidding. So you are about to be blessed with something that is going to make you very, very happy. Put it that way. It doesn't get much better than that. Okay. This is something you wish is wish being granted. This is your fairy godmother. This is protection. And this comes after the star is right after the tower. So something may have crumbled, but a rejection is God's protection. We hear that all the time. You're about to be blessed with big love. Big emotional support. An overwhelming feeling of emotion. Which it looks like it's it's a wish is being granted as well. This is what you asked for. Now you're about to receive a blessing. You are going to receive a blessing. You are. Could be a new love or it just could be something that makes you really happy. Because this is really, really, really happy. New start in love. 
Uh oh. Ten of cups. Whatever fell apart may may have been a relationship. Okay, because this is relationship problems. The ten of cups reversed. So this is a dying dream. This is leaving home or children leaving home or a separation. But remember, I said rejection is God's protection because you got something really big here. It's big, big and beautiful. This is big and beautiful here. So whatever it is. But that Ten of Cups reverse is there's been some sort of relationship that may have ended. It may have ended. Um, but this is karma and justice being served. Everything turned out the way it should. This is the laws of karma that says everything has turned out the way that it should. You know, the justice system or karma has no toleration for lies. Everything is fair and just. So... Um, as long as you're honest and upfront, you're going to get exactly what you deserve. Somebody is getting what they deserve, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, because this is getting what you deserve and this is getting what you deserve. So whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, we have this star, we have this, this star is shining very, very bright. A wish is being granted and this wish does have to do with love. So you, there is an offer of love or big, 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 huge. This is huge. Big love here. After a relationship has ended, because this is the end of a relationship. Now there, that was, that was, that was meant, that was a fair and just decision. Okay. Somebody was unable to make a decision staying in a situation that was exhausting them. This is extreme exhaustion. This is isolated health issues. I wonder if we had somebody here that had some health issues. This two of wands reversed is staying put. Uh, you know, fear of change, fear of the unknown, deciding not to go because of fear. Trying to Somebody was trying to protect themselves. Well, this is a fortress. This person is a force to be reckoned with. And it could be you or the person that you're dealing with. You may be dealing with somebody that is a fortress. This is a fortress. This is somebody who is strong and very determined. This person is determined to succeed. So this person's determination is going to bring them some sort of gift. I'm telling you what. So, um, but this is, this is, a uh, this, this could be a sudden arrival or a sudden return from something that has ended in the past, perhaps. I'm not sure, but this is, this is like a dead end. The four of swords reversed indecisiveness, unable to make a decision about something that was, had already ended, I think. I don't know. The Four of Swords is usually the death of an idea or person. But this is reversed. So this is waking up. Somebody may be waking up with a new idea. But there's definitely... Uh, and this could be... But there's some... I don't know. This is a sudden... This could be the death of a person or idea. So I don't know what it is. Um, but this is uh, canceled or delayed... Five of Swords reversed. Give me one more card. This is and next to the Four of Swords reversed. Somebody has been struggling. They've been struggling with their ego. Losing sleep, exhausted, trying to protect themselves, trying to prove something. Trying to prove a point. They've been hurt. Somebody has been hurt. They have been hurt and now, you know, they've they've slept on it. They've slept on it. They've thought about it. They've went through this period of isolation. They've went through this period of um, thinking. And I think now they're like fed up. They're fed up. Maybe there's there, there's been some sort of betrayal. There's been some sort of hostile situation here. Somebody wasn't... Um, they may be feeling humiliated. I don't know if there's some, some sort of public humiliation. I 
betrayal. There's definitely some betrayal. Somebody is hurting. They hurt another person. Now they're getting what they deserve. Karma works in mysterious ways. This is a card karma right here. And this is getting what they deserve. Somebody is getting what they deserve. And this could be sickness. Somebody may, there's somebody's health may be declining. Their health may be declining because, you know, that's what they deserve. If they did something that uh, hurt another person. This, the Five of Swords is hurting another person. It is. This person is a force to be reckoned with. You really shouldn't mess with this person. If it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, this is a fortress. She's unstoppable. Oh my goodness. So this is opening up. Letting go. Letting go of hostilities. Because this is hostilities. This person is very defensive. Very defensive. She is willing to defend. She will defend. She will. She's very proud and determined. So she will defend herself. So we have somebody here that is defending themselves. They're about to open up. They may be sharing information. Swords are information. Somebody may be sharing some information that uh, makes somebody sick, put it that way. Anyhow, um, four, of, four of Pentacles Reverse is opening up, uh, letting go of fear. And there's been some fear. So somebody uh, has been trying to prove something, trying to prove a point very selfish, greedy. Hmm. It feels like we have a war. This is like a war. It's like there's been some sort of war. There's been a very hostile situation. But it's coming to an end. That hostile, this hostile situation is coming to an end. It is. Now, this could be peace talks, five of swords reversed. This could also be exposing crime. It's, uh, you know, I wonder if there's, there could, and this is the justice system. So there's, if somebody has been committing a crime, there could be some sort of exposure, exposure of a crime. Woo! King of cups in reversed. Woo! So the king of cups in reversed could be you. This is somebody who is, is emotionally cold, withdrawn, doesn't communicate well, doesn't have good intentions. That karma is right next to this person. Now, it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody that you are dealing with. This could be another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be any sign. This is a person that and it looks like it's a man to me. It's a king. This person may have blonde hair. Doesn't have to have blonde hair, but I just happen to be pointing at that blonde hair. This person appears to be going down. Um, he may be upset. He may be very upset. Um, cold, withdrawn. Uh, doesn't have good intentions. Doesn't follow through. Is a very smooth talker, but doesn't follow through with his words. Withdraw. He sees himself self as a victim. This is somebody who is secretive and closed off. This secretive individual is going to get some sort of karma. Going to get exactly what he deserves. He's cold and withdrawn. Hurts other people. Very greedy and selfish. He may be losing something financially. It, I wonder if, if, and it may be a feminine, because water is a very feminine sign, so it could be a masculine or a feminine. This person may be losing something financially. It's like something, this could be taken away and given to somebody else. There's memories of the past here. Somebody is thinking about their past. They're thinking about a love of the past. This is Six of Cups. This is love of the past. Memories of love. 
This is the past. This person isn't very loving. The King and Cup, the King of Cups in reverse, is a, is somebody that isn't very loving. They may not be loving because they weren't taken care of when they were a ch child. Maybe when they were a child, they weren't taken care of effectively. But this is hope. There is hope. There is still some sort of hope. This is hoping. And this could be a, a fresh start in love. This is, this is love. This is a new opportunity for love. With a relationship. I don't know what this is. But uh, there's unrequited love here with the Page of Cups. With the Page of Cups reversed. This is an unrequited love situation. There's a relationship here that has ended because it was one-sided. But there's a new opportunity to have something with somebody where there is equal opportunity. This is somebody that you already know. This is somebody that you already know. But this page of cups reversed, this is um, shattered dreams. And so isn't the ten of cups reversed. So we have some shattered dreams here. Somebody's dreams have been shattered. It's final. Justice is a card of finality. Karma. This is a card of reciprocation. This person is now defensive and doesn't want to have anything to do with the person that hurt them. Don't come near me or I'll take you down. That's what that is. And this is, uh, you get hurt. Five of Swords. <laughs> this person has been wounded. Whoever this person, this is the very first card out. We have a wounded person up here. This person been wounded bad. She got a weapon in her hand. So she has been wounded. And this is opening up. So we have a wounded individual that may be sharing some information. That really doesn't make somebody happy. Brings up a lot of memories of the past, doesn't it? You get what you deserve now, don't you? So, karma's a bitch. Surprised we don't get the Queen of Swords here. Um, so, this right here is a blessing, okay? The star card is a blessing. We have somebody here that is a star, or they're famous, or they're shining very bright. They don't, there's no love. Okay, there's no love there anymore. But this could, I don't know if this is a reconciliation or what, but the Ace of Cups is, is a new start in love. This is an outpouring of emotion, of affection. A flood of emotion. So there is going to be, it's going to be an emotional month. It is. Broken heart. Yeah, somebody's, somebody ha has a broken heart, but this is forgiveness. Forgiving the past. It's a card of forgiveness. This is forgiving the past. So we may, this guy doesn't communicate well. He have a, may have a hard time forgiving, but this could be peace talks. So it feels like we have somebody here that may be asking for forgiveness. But this is can't apologize. Cannot apologize. This person cannot apologize. No way, Jose. So the relationship has died. This is painful separation. Heartache, heart attack even. Um, this is like a reunion though of some sort. I feel like there's a reunion. There's a reunion with somebody that you have known. There is. This person is going to give you something. Or you're going to give something to them. Because this is giving to somebody in your past. After there's been some sort of heartache. Hmm. Six of wands reversed. Now that's a no. You lose. You lose. No progress. 
feeling disgraced. We have somebody here that is going to fe be feeling disgraced. They're feeling disgraced because they didn't follow through. This person was all show. They had no staying power. This is unwelcome news arriving because we have somebody here that has a overinflated ego. This overinflated egotistical person is going to be receiving some karma, justice. There could be some negative public recognition. This is public recognition, but not in a good way. In reverse, and that could bring disgrace. This is truth. Justice is about truth coming out. And this is coming out. So some sort of truth is going to come out that is going to disgrace another person. There's lack of forgiveness here. Somebody's heart was stabbed. This person is determined to share. This person is determined to share. There's been a delay, but the delay is not going to last. It's going to happen. There's going to be memories that come up. There's, it's going to be very emotional. This is a loss with the Six of Wands reversed. This person was basically a one-hit wonder, right? They're going to be experiencing a setback. Six, six, six. Sixes are about reevaluation, about getting your life back on track. Somebody is going to get some sort of wake-up call. This wake-up call is about the choices that they have made in the past. Sixes are about choices. Somebody chose uh, uh, materialistic things, earthly matters, more than um, love, put it that way. Um, now they're going to be experiencing a setback. I feel like there's going to be a rejection as well. Somebody is going to uh, open up and share uh, their whatever happened with this five of swords reversed there's been some sort of hostile situation that is it may become public something's going to be taken away and given to somebody else as well could be money could be a job could be responsibilities Maybe it's responsibilities for the children or something like that. There's something that is being taken away and given to somebody else. Huh. Now that is learning a lesson. Everything happens for a reason. It happens for a purpose. Rejection is God's protection. Somebody, this is, we got a blessing that is coming here. Somebody is being blessed. Now, this is a card of evolution, learning a lesson. Somebody has learned a lesson. They have evolved. They have changed. They have changed over some sort of pain, over some sort of heartache. They have, has changed them. And now they are, they have, as they've learned a lesson, they're ready to allow and accept. I feel like it's time as well. Whenever I see this card, it's time. I don't know if there's going to be a reunion. It could be a reunion within, between children. There could be a reunion between, there's definitely a reunion of some sort. This is a reunion, this is a reunion. We got a reunion here, a reunion between two people. It's time, whatever that means. I don't know who this reunion is with. Um, I don't know. Ain't me. So, um, 
but there is some sort of reunion here with somebody from the past. And this is hope. Somebody has been hoping for a reunion and they're going to and it's like they're going to get it. They are going to get it. It's this person who has been determined. This determined person is going to uh They're going to get it. They're going to get what they've they've they deserve. Okay? It has to do with with somebody from the past or children. So this person that has stood tall after they have been wounded significantly, this person has been through the war already, has already been through the war zone, is now very defensive. This person has been hurt. This hurt, 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 hurt individual is going to be receiving a blessing of love. Whatever hurt them so badly has changed them. The storm is over. Something beautiful is coming. I don't know what this is, but something beautiful is coming. It has to do with a reunion. It does have to do with a reunion. It does. Um, it's whatever it is that you've been hoping for or wishing for. It's like you're, it's time. It's time. It's going to be, there's going to be tears though. There is. I think there's going to be tears. It's going to be an overflow of emotion. And it could be tears of joy. It could be tears of joy. But it's definitely going to be tearful. So I, feel, I see some tears here, Pisces. Um, yeah, so be prepared to... reevaluate your whole circumstances because 666 is about reevaluation. You are going to be reevaluating your circumstances because there is going to be a change. There is going to be a change. It's a change that you have been asking for in some way. And it does involve a big opportunity for love. This is lo the love that you have been wishing for. So whatever it is that you've been wishing for, this is what your the opportunity this is where the opportunity lies. This is a wish being granted. This is somebody has changed. They have learned through experience, okay? Now they're ready to compromise. They've learned some sort of lesson. So Pisces, be prepared to receive a blessing of love that you asked for. That's all I can say. Good luck.